All right, let's begin with a story time. This is a true story. So we're walking in the park one day. Uh, I'm about 10, my brother's about 15. And um, it's a hot day, so we find a tree and we kind of have 40 winks under a nice shady tree. So my mum kind of falls asleep and my brother also falls asleep. A few hours later, the sun kind of beams down on my mum and kind of wakes her up and she's like, yeah, it's time to go. Um, and my brother, he's a deep sleeper. So he's like, oh, my knee really hurts. I literally cannot move. Obviously my mum thinks he's kind of faking it. And it's like, you're stopping so lazy. Um, but uh, after shouting, I get him for a fair bit. He kind of manages to hobble along to the car. Um, but surprise, surprise, this kind of stiffness and this pain in his knee doesn't go for, for three days. So my mum starts to think something's up and she books an appointment with an orthopedic kind of doctor. Um, and meanwhile, she thinks something's up, right? So now, obviously, I can't confirm if this is true or if this bit actually happens or not because, you know, legal reasons. But rumour has it, uh, she may or may not have looked around in the medicine cabinet and found an antibiotic uh, and administered it to my brother. So meanwhile, again, we see the doctor like two days later and this doctor is obviously very angry. He's like, oh, you gave an antibiotic without... You know, prescribing or you know maybe this didn't this bit didn't happen but anyways but then after taking a sample of my brother's knee he's like okay i'm gonna let you off because this is something i've literally never seen in my entire career this guy's a consultant this is osteomyelitis it's basically a bacterial infection of the joint and he's like had you not given that antibiotic again this bit maybe didn't happen uh, your brother's leg um would probably be amputated by now so hopefully that gives you a bit of background true background of osteomyelitis what is it well it's a slightly comes about something it's a bacterial infection um, and often affects kids so we'll see why in a second so what is osteomyelitis? It is a bacterial infection that leads to sudden bone pain, redness, and swelling uh, in bones and joints. Um, it's usually caused by staph infections, and staph is um, a gram-positive cocci, meaning it's purple staining blobs. Um, okay. Now there's two types of staph. Um, you're going to kind of treat both infections the same way. So you're going to work the patient with a strong antibiotic called floxacillin. This is a beta-lactam, so the same family as penicillins. Uh, and this uh, inhibits a bacterial enzyme called transpeptidase, which is responsible for making the proteoglycan cell wall. So you hit the patient with that for six to eight weeks. Um, and maybe in those first two weeks, you give them a drug called rifampicin or fusidic acid. Um, and rifampicin works by inhibiting bacterial RNA polymerase. The third thing you might do, uh, so you might have to recall three things you have to do. The third thing you have to do is release any pus without delay. So that's quite important. I mentioned there's two types of staph. So your first uh, staph is called staph aureus. And this causes the majority of osteomyelitis, often in kids, um, as well and that's because kids are growing um so their bones have an increased blood supply increased vascularization now obviously that helps the bones get more nutrients but it also can help bacteria reach the bones um, and bacterial infection spread to the, uh, spread to the bones um the way i can remember it is a for aureus a is the first letter of the alphabet so it's kind of like a young letter so it affects young people i don't know if that works for you so it's um also young people are um maybe they might be more optimistic in life so this is a coagulase positive um bacteria and it produces the toxic shock toxin and hemolysis um, staph aureus can kind of mutate and become resistant to a really strong bacteria, um, antibacterial called methicillin. In that case, it becomes MRSA, methicillin-resistant uh, staph A, and then you're going to treat it with vancomycin, which is a strong glycopeptide cell wall inhibitor. The other type of staph kind of infection that causes osteomyelitis is called staph epidermidis, um, and this usually affects the elderly, so E for elderly, E for epidermidis, uh, and that's why, and the reason is because it's associated with prosthetic joints, so like a, a fake hip, a fake knee, for example. Um, so, Staph epidermidis causes necrosis and abscesses, and obviously this is kind of an ageist stereotype. But it helps you remember that old people generally might be more grumpy, so they might be have they might be more negative. Um, so staph epidermidis is coagulase negative, and it produces biofilms. And that is everything I wanted to say.